morning. I'm Cheryl. Thanks for joining me, guys. This is Your Journey Yoga, and I, I always tell you guys, it is your journey. So uh, it's a beautiful one, you guys, whatever it is. So just uh, know that the journey is different every day. Uh, enter that journey with a smile on your face, an open heart, and just a willingness to explore and have fun and not judge, not criticize, but embrace where you are within your practice, whether you've been practicing forever, or you're just starting out, or you're somewhere in between, and we're just working every day to find what's tight, what's tense, what feels amazing, and let go of that tension and tightness and embrace that amazing piece. Um, so hopefully there's more amazing than tension and tightness, um, but as we work through, just let it happen. Uh, and again, like I say, without judgment or criticism. All right, my friends, so we are going to actually open up our stance, not super, super wide, but a little bit wider than the width of your hips, and you're going to turn your toes out just slightly at about a 45 degree angle, so that as you bend your knees, your knees are going to go right out over your toes. Inhale, reach to the sky. Not bending those knees just yet. Spread your fingers wide. Pull those elbows back and down. Cactus arms. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, pull and squeeze, opening that chest, activating that upper and middle back. Inhale, reach to the sky. One more time, pull it down, keep those arms down, squeeze those elbows, and sink into those legs. And we're not gonna go super deep. So our legs aren't wide enough for those knees to bend super, super far. Now keep those elbows squeezing back, the upper back engaged, straighten the legs, and sink. So our tailbone pointing straight towards the floor, press it up and sink it down. Now we're going to activate those arms at the same time. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, sink. Squeeze those elbows. Inhale, reach to the sky. One more just like that. Exhale and squeeze. Inhale, reach to the sky. Bend the elbows. Bring the hands to hold on to the elbows. Core is strong and soft. Bend in those knees. We're going to take it to the left, and we're just going to gently sweep it towards the floor, around to the right, and up tall. Now take it the other direction. To the right, sweep it down around and up. So the more bend in your knees, the more release for that lower back. So be nice guys. Last time around and take it up. Keep those elbows, extend the arms. So our fingers are now interlaced. Core is strong, inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, lower your arms to shoulder height. Press your spine towards the back of the room as you tuck your chin towards the chest. Inhale, we pull those hands through. Knuckles point towards your chin. Inhale, extend the arms out. And as you exhale, hollow, tummy and chest. Reach those knuckles forward, little tuck of the pelvis. Inhale, lift those arms to the sky. Now you're gonna crisscross in the other direction. So that other hand comes in front. Inhale, lower the arms. Shoulder height. Exhale, press the knuckles forward as you hollow the tummy and chest, tuck your chin. Inhale, pull the hands through. Good. And extend it out. Hollow the tummy and chest. Inhale, reach to the sky. Release those arms all the way down. We turn to face the top of the mat. Big step forward to mountain. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, swan dive to forward fold. Inhaling up to monkey half lift. Exhale down, giant step back with your left foot. Back knee comes to the mat if you like. Lift your arms to a crescent lunge. Shoulders are soft. Find your breath. We're gonna circle that left arm forward, right arm back. Big circle all the way around behind and up tall. Now switch it up, right arm forward, left arm back, big circle, all the way around behind, all the way up tall. Exhale, flow forward, both hands to the inside of your foot and let your hips be heavy. Lengthen through the crown of the head, that right knee right along the shoulder. Find your breath. Now let's shift our weight to that left hand, right arm extends to the sky, reach it up as high as you can reach. Exhale, slowly release that right hand down. One hand on either side of your foot. Step it back to plank. We're in our plank, either on our toes or our knees. We're lifting out of the shoulders. We're lengthening through the crown of the head. 
find your breath. Holding your plank, or if you like, one push up. Again. Waking that body up one more time. Lift your hips to down dog. Our downward facing dog. I want you to visualize yourself as a mountain peak or an upside down V. Your sit bones are the highest peak or the very tip of that V. Nice long line from the sit bones down to the backs of the heels. From the sit bones all the way up through the fingertips. We inhale it up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs. Reach your sit bones high. Exhale and let your heels gently sink. We alternate bending knees. Walk it out. Nice big deep breaths. Oh, hopefully your day is starting out super good. If it's not, it's only going to get better. Making that choice to step onto your mat, guys, is the best decision that you could have made. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders towards your thighs, reach your sit bones high. Stay high on the balls of the feet. Take the gaze between your hands and let's walk those feet slowly in. So as we stay high on the balls of the feet, we've just lengthened our legs and we make ourselves reach a little bit further towards the floor. Now slowly release your heels towards the mat. Relax the weight of your head. And roll it up one vertebra at a time. Slow, steady roll. With a big shoulder roll up and back. Shoulders slide down and away. Do that shoulder roll one more time. Make it as big as you can. Turn the palms to the front of the room. The tummies are tight, glutes are tight. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, left hand down, right arm high, lean in and reach. Standing lateral flexion, this amazing stretch all the way down the side of the body. Inhale, both arms come up. Exhale, other side, lean in and reach. Reach, reach, reach. Inhale, both arms come up. Pull the hands to heart center and sit to chair. As our weight shifts into our heels, we're going to sink only as low as feels right to us. Our weight is back in those heels, so we can lift all ten toes. Can you? Can you feel those toes lift? Can you wiggle them? Shifting, strengthening, waking up the body. Inhale, half lift. Just come halfway up, not all the way. Keeping that chest lifted, keeping the weight in the heels, and sink again. So we're waking up those big muscles in the legs. We're starting to build some heat. I want you to shift your weight to the right. Not to throw you totally off, but I want you to feel that weight shift. And is it more challenging? Or is that your dominant side? Now shift to the left. How about that? Does it make you fall apart in your core? Re-engage that core. Does it make you need to lean forward a little bit more? Lift the chest. Center your weight. Those legs talking to you yet? Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, arch it back. Open the arms to a nice wide V. Inhale, reach to the sky. And as you exhale, swan back to forward fold. Inhale, up to monkey half lift. Exhale, down. Big step back with that right foot. Back knee down if you like. Otherwise, knee is off. Arms come overhead. Here we are at our crescent lunge. Shoulders soft. We're deep into those legs. Find your breath. Those arm circles, don't overthink them, guys. Put a smile on your face. Right arm goes forward, left arm goes back. Big circle. All the way up tall, we're making that brain kick in. Now that left arm goes forward, right arm goes back. Big circle. Around and up. Good chance to laugh if you like. Breathe. Lengthen and reach. Circle the arms to the back. Release both hands to the inside of your foot and let those hips be heavy. Find your breath. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Let's shift our weight to our right hand. Left arm extends to the sky. Reach it up. Breathe. Lengthening and lifting out of that right shoulder. How's your breath? Slow and steady, I hope. As you exhale, slowly release that left hand down, one hand on either side of your foot, step that left foot back to plank. Hold your plank, adjust however you need to. Shoulders right over those fingertips. You can be on the toes or the knees. Breathe, we're going to lift that right leg, and we're going to tap it out to the side, and bring it back in. 
left leg, tap it out to the side, and bring it back in. So we're trying to keep those hips from rocking, staying steady, and left. One more time each side, right, and in, left, and in. Beautiful job, one push up. Lift your hips to down dog. We alternate bending knees, working out. So just checking in. Can you feel that blood flowing? Can you feel that first oxygen, oxygenating the blood? Oh, getting that energy moving. It's gonna be a great day. Tell yourself that, say it out loud. It's gonna be a great day. We inhale up to the balls of the feet. Exhale, press the chest and shoulders toward your thighs, reach your sit bones high. And exhale, let your heels gently sink. Taking the gaze between your hands, walk, step, or hop to forward fold. Releasing the weight of the upper body down, the head is heavy. We bend the knees, allowing the tummy and chest to come to rest on the thighs. Circling the arms around behind your back, interlacing your fingers. Let your head be heavy, give that head a little shake. Now if you like, roll those shoulders up and back, lift your hands towards the sky. Now if by chance you can't get those hands together and you have a strap, a belt, a towel handy, take a hold of that in each hand. Now we're working to get those palms to stay together. If it's just that the fingers are interlaced, that's amazing. Just embrace where you are, guys. Now slowly begin to extend those legs. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest to ensure that we're not causing tension at the base of the head. Now slowly bring the hands to the small of the back. Gently release those arms. Again, those knees are softly bent. We place that left hand out in front of us, palm pressing firmly into the mat. Lengthen those legs, but keep that left palm pressing to the floor. Rotate your body and extend. Right arm to the sky, reach it up. High as you can reach. As you exhale, slowly release that right hand down. Right hand takes the place of the left. We rotate and extend left arm to the sky. Breathe. Rotation of the spine, flexibility. Lengthening of the hamstrings. Strengthening through that upper back. Exhale, slowly release. Relax the weight of the head. Shift your weight to your heels, core strong, slowly bend your knees. Lowering yourself down. Only as low as feels right. Now as you exhale, press through your heels. Can you lift your toes? Press through those heels as you extend the legs. Draw your nose towards your knees. Inhale, bend the knees. Lowering down, again pressing through those heels. Exhale and extend. Inhale, bend the knees. This time we're going to bend those knees to the point where we can come as low as we can. Now, if you come too, too low, just come down onto your bottom. If the knees are not in agreement with this pose, extending those arms out, shoulder height, or thereabouts, you can always keep them down. Breathe. Now we're going to slowly rise. Press through your heels. Now, if you're on your bottom, just stay on your bottom. Perfectly fine. We'll meet you there in just a second. Slow, 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 slow. Pressing through those heels. Toes are still lifted. Inhale, lift the arms to the sky. And as you exhale, arch it back. Arms right by your ears. Inhale it up tall. Super slow. Sink. Again, weight is in those heels. Toes are lifted. Chest staying tall. We sink, we sink, we sink. What are we sinking? Release your hands, lower yourself down, bring the hands to support behind your thighs, and rock it back. Lift your chest, find your breath. Reach down, take a hold of that right leg anywhere you like, ankle, calf, thigh, outside edge of your foot, big toe with the first two fingers on your thumb, and extend that right leg lifting your chest. So one of the things that we have a tendency to do is to kind of hollow out through the upper body and sink into that lower back. I want you to lift 
and reach to the crown of the head. So that left hand can stay supporting behind that left thigh or extend that left arm. Now we're gonna slowly let that right leg open out to the right. As much or as little as you like. Breathe. Now I want you to notice what your left knee is at. My knee is kind of opened out to the side as well. I want you to bring it back so it's right in line with your shoulder. So it's gonna feel a little bit wonky. How about that chest? Is it still lifted? Now slowly bring that right leg back up, knees side by side. Bring the support of the hand behind the thigh, bend the knee. Keep the support or release it, take a hold of that left leg anywhere you like. Back of the thigh, calf, ankle, big toe. And work to extend that leg just as long as you can get it. So again, that hand, right hand, can stay behind the thigh or you can extend that arm. Lifting through the chest. Are you hollowing the chest? That is an indication that it is all going into your lower back and you're not getting the benefits of that cord strength. So really work to lift. Breathe. Now slowly let that left leg open. Opening, opening, opening. So the beauty of this is that left arm is really there for support, right? So you're getting this nice little stretch. You're activating the bicep. You're getting this nice stretch through the thigh. Now, what is that right knee done? Your body is so smart. It's like, I am going to even out this weight as best I can. So you're going to pull that right knee back in, right in line with your shoulder. So you should feel kind of wonky, right? But we're lifting through the chest and we are strong. We are drawing that belly button in and back. So that hands can still be supporting. I've got it all over the place. Or you can extend that arm out. Now, slowly, slowly pull that left leg back in. Breathe. Lift the chest. So I'm feeling a pretty decent stretch behind that left leg. I hope you are too. Now slowly bend that left knee. Take a hold. Keep a hold of that left leg. Take a hold of the right. Okay? So whatever you've got. If it's behind your thigh, if it's behind your calf, it's at the ankle, outside edge of your foot, or you've got the big toes. Extend your legs. So now we're using those biceps to hold the legs. Now we might be further away, but I still want you to be mindful. If you've got this going on and you're hollowing out through the tummy and the chest, your core is not doing any work really. Okay, very, very minimalistic. I want you to lift. I want you to draw that belly button in and out. And I want you to feel that get out of your lower back and really resonate into the belly, into those arms. Now, same thing. We're gonna let those legs open out to the side. Now, only as low as you like, and I want you to be mindful of the weight shift. So your body's gonna to wanna to shift forward. That weight wants to go forward or back. I want you to stay up tall. I want you to open that chest and draw those shoulder blades towards one another. Breathe, slow and steady. Now using the strength of your inner thighs, keeping that belly button drawn in, slowly close your legs. So I'm not even using my arms. I kind of take the intensity out of the arms and just let them attach to my legs. Are you still drawing that belly button in and up? Now I'm going to use the strength of those arms again, and I'm going to pull the legs in as I draw the nose towards my knees. Now you might not close quite so far. You might be able to touch your entire coming in chest to your legs. So everyone, every body is different. I want you to notice what's working, what's hard, what feels amazing, what do you need to work on? Now slowly, slowly release those arms. Bring one hand behind your thigh and then the other, point your toes. Core strong, keeping that support or releasing it. Keep that belly button drawn in and slowly, slowly, slowly lower your legs. Slow as you can. And allow the heels to touch. Reach to the sky, flex your feet. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, tummy down, chest down, and, and then relax the weight of your head. A little tuck of your chin towards your chest. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. And release your hands down by your sides. Let's cross that right leg up and over. So we take that leg to the outside of that left thigh or to the inside of your thigh. So as you cross the thigh, you're going to get this nice stretch in that right hip. So anybody who deals with sciatic nerves, or if you have a really tight piriformis or IT band, beautiful stretch for you. We're going to sit up nice and tall. We're going to interlace our fingers and use that knee to help us sit up as tall as we can sit. 
Now add a flex to that left foot. Breathe. Now you can stay right here. If you like, bring that right hand around behind you. Left arm extends to the sky. As you rotate, place that left elbow to the top of the knee and press against the knee, working to rotate through the spine. Keeping that length in the spine, take your gaze out over that right shoulder. So flexibility in the spine, a nice release in that right hip. Length down the back of that left leg. So we have so much going on here, guys. Extending left arm to the sky. Slowly release it back. Release your hands and let that right knee open out to the side. Sit up tall. Right hand just gently presses against the knee. That right ankle just above that left knee. Sit up tall. Now you can stay right here. We're gonna hinge forward. So if by hinging forward, having that right foot above the knee push too much pressure on the back of that left knee, bring your foot to the inside of your thigh. We reach to the sky, and as you exhale, begin to hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of your head. So you can always shift midway if you're like, oh, I thought that was going to feel good, and it just didn't. Shift that foot to the inside, right along the inner thigh, inside of the knee, wherever it feels good. But a really nice stretch for that lower back, that right hip. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands, extend that right leg out. Now we draw that left foot in. So again, either along the inside of the thigh or we cross to the outside of that left leg. We bring the hands to the knee and we sit up nice and tall, adding a flex to that right foot. You can interlace your fingers, however you need to, to really engage those arms. You might feel this in the lats, kind of just below those shoulder blades. As you sit up tall and you use the strength of those arms, we should feel a nice stretch for that left hip. Great pose for promoting good posture. Extending and reaching that right hand to the sky. Left hand comes behind us and we lengthen, sitting up nice and tall. As you exhale, rotate, bend that right knee, place it to the top of the left knee and press against that knee. Really keeping the length in the spine, getting as much rotation as you can and take your gaze out over that left elbow or left shoulder. Back. Probably not the elbow, the shoulder. Breathe. Find your breath. Slow and steady. Lord of the fish. Pretty pose. Inhale, reach that right hand to the sky. Slowly release your hand down. And we're going to let those hands come to the outside of the um, hips. And let that left knee open out to the side. Sit up tall. Left hand just gently presses on that left knee. So now we're getting into the groin, to the hip, to the knee. So if there's any indication where this just doesn't feel right, it's too much, it's uncomfortable beyond a good stretch, that's when you make your adjustments, okay? So having that uh, left ankle above the knee, that's gonna put a little pressure as we lean forward. If you need to shift that left foot to the inner thigh, do so. Inhale, reach to the sky, and as you exhale, lengthen and hinge it forward. Release your hands. Relax the weight of the head. Slow, steady breaths. Adjust where you need to. This is about letting go with tension. Never, never, never causing extra. Goodness knows there's enough stress and tension going on around us. We don't need it anymore. We need to get rid of some. Inhale, reach it out. Sit up nice and tall. Release your hands. Extend both legs out. Flex your feet, reach to the sky. Giant beach ball on your thighs. Round over and hollow your tummy and chest. Tuck your chin, tuck your tailbone. Reach towards your toes. Now lift that spine towards the ceiling. So we're gonna squish that beach ball. As you inhale, reach it out. Draw your tummy towards your thighs. Try and pop that beach ball. Now slowly sit on up. Soften your feet, close your eyes. Slowly rock it back. As we roll back, each vertebra touching one at a time. And relax. Bringing one foot in towards your bottom and then the other. 
We cross that right foot just above that left knee, opening that right knee out to the side. Extend your arms out to the T. Now slowly bring both knees to the left, working to touch the right sole of the foot to the floor without bringing that right knee down. So we want that right knee to keep pointing towards the sky. Chest open to the sky. So checking in this really nice stretch all through that right side, into the waist, definitely into the hip, into those glutes, down that IT band. The more you press that right knee out of the way, the more you're gonna intensify that stretch. So go where it's right. Now slowly coming back, releasing that right foot to the floor right by your bottom. Left foot crosses just above the right knee, ankle to the outside of the knee, and then that little left knee gets pressed away as you slowly lower both knees to the right. Can you get that sole of the foot to the floor? You may or may not. It's okay. And if it doesn't come to the floor, that's fine. Focus on pressing that left knee out. That's a lot of stretch going on here, guys. It's through the hips and the waist, through that leg and into the knees. So just be nice. Remember, we don't judge, we're not comparing. We are where we are and celebrate wherever that is because it is a gift, you guys, the gift of movement. Imagine if you couldn't move at all, right? What a terrible misfortune that would be. My heart goes out. That gift of movement, you guys, celebrate it. No matter how small the movement is. And then slowly, slowly bring it back to center. Pulling your left knee in towards your chest and then the right. Hands to the shins just below your knees, rock side to side. Come back to center. Bring the hands behind your thighs. Rock yourself up. Let's turn to face front and crisscross those legs. Now, if this is just a no-go for you, find a place that's okay for you to sit. And we're gonna sit up nice and tall, bringing the hands to the shins just below your knees. Take a big breath in, press the chest forward, arch your back, gaze to the sky. Exhale the hollow and tummy chest. Draw the chin towards the chest. Seated cat and cow. Now, hopefully we worked out. Inhale, press it through, lots of tension. Hopefully you didn't have lots of tension, but if you did, we've worked, to, worked a lot of that out. So whatever tension you have, hopefully you don't have any left. Let's do one more each direction. Maybe I need more coffee. Exhale and hollow. Brain's still a little fuzzy. Inhale, lift, reach to the sky. Exhale and release that left hand down, right arm up and over. Inhale, both arms come up, reach to the sky. Other side, right arm down, left arm up, and over. Inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up. Exhale, open those arms out to a T, flex your wrists, hollow your tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back, chin down. Inhale, lift, open, and reach. Exhale, lengthen, hinge it forward, little tap of the fingertips to the mat. Inhale, reaching out. Hinge it up. We're going to do that same thing one more time. Exhale, open the arms out to a T. Flex the wrists, hollow the tummy and chest, press your palms forward, spine back. Inhale, it open and reach. Left arm down, right arm up and over. Glue that right sit bone to the mat. Inhale, both arms come up, reach to the sky. Exhale, other side one more time. Left arm up and over. Inhale, reach to the sky, both arms come up. Pull the hands through to heart center. Release your hands to the tops of the knees, palms to the sky. Bring the index finger to touch your thumb. Close your eyes. As you inhale, open the fingers, spread your fingers wide, feel that stretch across the palms. As you exhale, bring the middle finger to the thumb. Inhale, open the fingers, spread your fingers wide, feel that stretch across the palm. Exhale, ring finger to the thumb. Inhale, open the fingers, spread the fingers wide, feel that stretch. 
and exhale, pinky to the thumb. Inhale, open the fingers, spread them wide. And as you exhale, whatever finger feels natural to you, bring it to gently touch your thumb. Close your eyes. Feel the length in your spine. Release any tension that's left anywhere. Neck, shoulders, hips, knees. And take those slow, deep breaths in and out through the nose. Let your mind quiet. Let me draw your awareness to a yellow light. A yellow light within your mind's eye, warm, comforting, energizing, and awakening. It is here within this world, this safe place, that we set our intentions for the day. truly have an amazing day in every way. Celebrate the small, wonderful things that make the day the difference between okay and amazing. The fresh air on our skin. Laughter. Us and around us. A smile from a stranger, a friendly face. Offering a compliment to anyone. To say hi and wave. see a puppy playing. There are so many little tiny nuances within the day to celebrate life and to find joy to in fact make the day amazing. Set your intention. Let it guide you today. Let it help you stay positive and present. Stay focused on the yellow light and just breathe. And slowly, we deepen our breath. We feel the length in the spine. Aware of the sounds around us floor beneath us, and that gentle, calm strength flowing through the body. We wiggle our fingers, our toes, allowing the hands to rest. Keeping the eyes closed, pull the hands to heart center. And as we bring our practice to a close, a few words for you with you or to just let float by. Challenges set before us are to help us reach inside to find our strength and use it wisely. Let's gently open the eyes. Take a big breath and reach to the sky. Exhale, circle those arms around, pull the hands to heart center. The light in me honors light in each and every one of you, which means nuts. I wish you a truly amazing day. Thank you for sharing your time, for choosing me to share your time with. So I appreciate it very much. Be well, my friend.